The Crop Trust, officially known as the Global Crop Diversity Trust, is an international nonprofit organization which works to preserve crop diversity in order to protect global food security. It was established through a partnership between the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization and CGIAR acting through Bioversity International. Topic. Overview In 2006, the Crop Trust entered into an agreement with the governing body of the International Treaty on Plant Genetic Resources for Food and Agriculture. The agreement recognizes the Crop Trust as an essential element of the treaty's funding strategy in regards to the XSITU conservation and availability of plant genetics resources for food and agriculture. It also confirms the autonomy of the Crop Trust as a scientific organization in raising and disbursing funds. The Crop Trust is assembling an endowment fund, the income from which will be used to support the conservation of distinct and important crop diversity, in perpetuity, through existing institutions. Crop diversity is the biological foundation of agriculture, and is the raw material plant breeders and farmers use to adapt crop varieties to pests and diseases. In the future, this crop diversity will play a central role in helping agriculture adjust to climate change and adapt to water and energy constraints. Topic. Management The Crop Trust has its offices in Bonn, Germany, after relocating there from Rome, Italy. The executive board is chaired by Tim Fisher, Australia. The Crop Trust Trust also has a donors council, chaired by Jaap Satter, Netherlands. As of May 2016, the organization had raised approximately 300 million United States dollars for its endowment. Main donors include Australia, Canada, Germany, Ireland, Norway, Sweden, Switzerland, United Kingdom, United States, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and the Grains Research and Development Corporation, Australia. A number of developing countries have also provided support, including Egypt, Ethiopia, and India. Further contributions have been received from private corporations, foundations, industry associations, and from private individuals. Auslig Haga, a Norwegian politician who was chairperson of the Centre Party from 2003 to 2008, took over as executive director from Kerry Fowler in 2013. Topic. Grants. Since its establishment, the Crop Trust has funded work in over 80 countries, and made its first grant for long-term conservation of a collection in late 2006. By 2011, the Crop Trust had established in perpetuity support i.e. grants funded through the Crop Trust's endowment for collections of 15 crops, rice, cassava, wheat, barley, faba bean, pearl millet, maize, forages, banana, aeroids, grass pea, sorghum, yam and lentil. In 2007, the Crop Trust began a global initiative to rescue threatened, high-priority collections of crop diversity in developing countries and to support information systems to improve their conservation and availability. These efforts included providing support to developing countries and international agricultural research centers to deposit shipments of seed samples in the Svalbard Global Seed Vault for safety duplication purposes. In 2010, the Crop Trust launched a global 10-year program to find, gather, catalog and save the wild relatives of 22 major food crops. These wild species contain untapped diversity to help address future challenges to agriculture. Topic. Svalbard Global Seed Vault The Crop Trust joined the Government of Norway and the Nordic Gene Bank in the 2008 establishment of the Svalbard Global Seed Vault, a fail-safe facility located at Svalbard, Norway. 
This facility provides a safety backup for existing gene bank collections, which are vulnerable to war, civil strife, natural disasters and even to equipment failure and mismanagement. The vault has also been touted as providing a means for restoring agriculture in the event of a global catastrophe. It is designed to hold the seeds of some 4.5 million samples of different varieties of agricultural crops.